childhood because as a child, I vividly remember attending parades, waving an American flag, and just bursting with pride. Phosphorus, uh, and everything that everyone said, we, we appreciate your service, we honor your patriotism, your sacrifice, and that makes all of this possible. I want to thank you, veterans. As a daughter of immigrant um, parents, it was through Hacienda La Fuente Unified that I actually learned about a special presentation for you. So if you could actually come up here to the front, please. Yes. Yes, thank you. To the entire school, um, I have thanked you many times, but the most important members of our school are our students. So they have some words for you. All the veterans who came and took their time to come talk to us students and tell us their story and how great of an impact it was for them or how La Puente has taught them what to do in order to be such a great um, such a great place yeah. and on behalf of the students we all want to say thank you and that we appreciate every single one of the veterans and everything you guys have done for us Basketball, baseball, track, and lettered in each of those sports. I was also basketball homecoming king and voted most athletic by my senior class. Uh, my path to the military started out as a failure in college at Mount, at Mount Sac. My plans, my goals and plans throughout high school was to try college and if that didn't work out, go in the military. After my first year, at Mount Sac, my effort. I graduated in 93 and I was on the volleyball and the swim team for all four years while I was here. My twin brother was also on and off the football team, just depending on what he wanted to do. And then uh, we had an older sister, class of 90, so deep roots here in La Puente. And this is where I was born and raised. Um, after high school, I went to UCSB for a year and uh, I got caught up with... Uh, there were times where we would go through a town and we would talk to the people they would kind of point in the direction of where these people were at. Within two days, that house would blow up because they were seen talking to us. It was, it was really weird dynamic. So we were there in a policing act trying to protect these people, but at the same time, you know, there was a whole different narrative that was going on back here. I got to boot camp um, or basic training December 27, two days after Christmas. So it was cold, and by the way, I'm California all my life. That's the coldest I've ever been in my life. I, I've never, has anybody ever experienced like 10 below zero? Yeah, 10 below zero, try sleeping outside and 10 below zero. We have canteens of water and they would freeze when we had our water. It's kind of a loss, because he was an awesome person. Um, he said things like, he said, pick a job that you would do for free and you will be happy in life. Do you remember that? Did he ever tell you that? I don't know if you ever talked to him. So true, it's so true. I work at Raytheon Missile Systems. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that we make. All the technology that goes into the stealth fighter, the B2, the U2, all that stuff, I work on. I do cybersecurity. Um, that's what I work on. I didn't start doing that. When I graduated here, I went to Cal State Fullerton. I spent a year.